Okay, so we are now at the stage, now we've unpacked our PC and we've got our keyboard, mouse and monitor ready to connect up the cables so we're able to use it. So generally speaking, at the very least, you're going to have maybe four cables to connect up. So we've got a keyboard and mouse, we have our power, and in this instance, we have a HDMI cable. On older machines, it may be a, a, a blue D-sub VGA cable, or if it's a higher-end machine with a higher-end monitor, it may be a display port, or it may be a DVI plug, which is generally speaking a white plug. Okay, but in this instance, we have HDMI. So, first thing we do, take our two USBs. It doesn't matter which order of these two go in, these two go in, but generally speaking, if you've got them on your PC, right at the top of your I.O. shield here, your input output shield, you'll have a couple of black USBs, which are USB 2s, which is all a keyboard and mouse really need. So we'll plug those two in there. Like I say, it doesn't matter which way around they go, the machine will determine which is which. We have our power, plugs down to the bottom in our power supply. In some more basic cases, your power supply might be mounted at the top of the case, in which case, obviously, it'll just come up and plug it. It can only go in one way. Now, your HDMI, this is where some people do get caught out. Uh, because this machine, as well as having a dedicated graphics card with a HDMI, the motherboard also has onboard graphics. Now, but because we've got a dedicated graphics card, those outputs are overridden. So if you plug your HDMI into there, you're going to get no display. It has to go into the HDMI port on your graphics card, into there. Do not use that port because you will get nothing out of it. Um, same with if it was a display port and you had a high-end board with a display port out on the back here, you couldn't use it because your graphics card would override that port. And that is basically it. From there, we can switch the PC on and go into things like BIOS, or go in, or install Windows if you haven't got it already installed, or just launch into Windows.